I'm Dave. And I'm Wally, and it's hot. It is. Well, you guys have been seeing our videos of our little project we got going on here. We're finally to the stage where we're going to start installing membrane. Now, you may notice we're wearing booties. You guys in the audience may, may chuckle at that. You got to remember, we've been tearing off a nasty pitch roof. I mean, it's been hot, it's dirty. You didn't pack my other shoes. I didn't. No, so it's your fault. Yeah, I'll put her. So, is booties necessary? No. Um, but it's going to keep that membrane cleaner when we're kicking it out. You don't have to wear booties, but I'll tell you, it may sound stupid. Uh, these things are cheap, but it's going to save you a lot of time. You don't have to clean so much. So, we're going to lay this roof out. How are we going to lay this roof out, Dave? Well, I think we're going to start here in the drain with a five-footer. Because we're tapering this way, we're actually taping, tapering all ways, we're going to start center this on the drain, or pretty much run from uh, wall to the to the edge out there, and then we're going to go to the left and to the right, where they're going to take over the crew that's doing the tear off. The tear off over there, right? Yeah. They'll take off or take over and go that way. Now the reason we did this, of course, is because the deck's going this way. Mechanically attached, we have to hit the top of the flue. So running our chutes this way, right? That's why we're running our chutes this way. Right. I mean, you could run them this way because that is longer, but because of the deck we're going perpendicular to the deck. So we're looking at this rough. How many half sheets do we would we really have to have up here? Well, if you wanted to do a half sheet, you would do out there, back, out, and back. A lot of messing around. A lot of messing around. So I think we're going to do fingers, maybe? Do one half sheet, run fingers. Right. And we'll talk about that a little more as we get installing this. Perfect. Okay. Yep. Wow. Okay, we're going to take this five foot roller and center over this drain. Rather than trying, we're going to take a tube of water bar. That's our specification under any clamp ring. Rather than run the membrane, cut the hole, and try and get this tube squeezed in there. Anybody has ever messed with water block know how messy it is. We're going to do it prior to installing the membrane. Actually, this is our flex seal. I thought it was our water block. Flex seal or water block. This is our spec. One full pull, one full tube per drain. Now the trick's going to be somebody doesn't walk in it which I'm sure you guys haven't been on a roof. We know that's virtually impossible, but this is gonna be covered up. We'll put something around here so nobody actually gets into it. Yeah, come. So, come to me. Oh, to you. <laughs> Run those down and we'll do a flashing and cover that wall. So I'm going to kind of cut this hole, Miko. We're not going to put the clamp ring on it right now. We'll come back here in a little bit, just so nobody walks in this area. Let's cut a hole right here in the center of this drain. So I'm going to tie, we'll tidy it up. Okay, so the settings I put on the robot was 10 feet a minute for about 900 degrees. This machine will run, I believe, well, 1148 is the maximum temperature, and I believe this V2 will run around 30 feet a minute. You will never, let me say this again, you will never weld TPL on fast. It's, you gotta remember, I've got this big cord I'm trying to drag with me. I gotta try and keep this thing straight. I've got deflections in the deck, as you can see right here, that we're gonna have to come back and patch in. But how I arrived at these temperatures was there's a formula I was taught years ago. You take the ambient temperature, whatever it is, that's about 80 degrees. So I divided that by 10, gives me 8. I added 2 feet a minute to that, gives me 10 feet a minute. Gets me in the ballpark, okay? It's, you don't have to stay there, but you got to have a baseline. And I did test welds earlier. When I did, I set this up at 10 feet a minute. I started at 600 degrees and I did a weld. I bumped it up 100 degrees and I did another weld and I but I didn't touch my speed. And what I did, I ran those, those temperatures till I maxed this machine out from 600 degrees to 1148. Then I went that back and did my test pulls and I set the machine up in the middle, which gave me about 10 feet a minute, right around eight, about 900 degrees. So that's where we get, that's where we, when we test wells, that's how we arrived at the settings on this machine.
what we're going to do now is at the end of these sheets we're going to put fingers now a lot of you have done picture framing picture framing is on the outside the true outside perimeter of a building which is when you step off the roof as you're stepping down that is a true outside perimeter a lot of the younger guys don't have experience with laying up half sheets all the way around the perimeter it works we've been doing it for years but now there's another way we call it fingers so when we're going to put fingers in we're going to go between the two seams half of the sheet so we're doing 10 foot sheets now it would be five foot would be make your mark at five foot uh, Gino okay now Gino's guy is his mark at five foot because we have a five foot perimeter he is going to install plates and fasteners 12 inches on center straight line five foot Are you five foot? Missed by an inch. Now he's putting, going to put five seam plates in here, five fasteners. Now he's going to use his fasteners, fasten it down, and then we're going to strip that in with our eight inch flashing strip, which is a reinforced product. What this does, now I have uh, fasteners every five feet out here at the edge of the roof where the wind is where it hits first. You can also do fingers with rhino bond. So we put the rhino bond plates in first, lay the sheet over top, and come back and zap it in. So right now I'm, I'm cleaning the membrane. It's very important to clean it just because I cut it, uh, you know what I mean? Uh, it's not too dirty. It's a brand new roll that just came out. So I would just use water for this. There's no need for uh, the TPO cleaner or just plain old water, so it works. So guys, as you saw, I just welded this by hand. Kind of took me a while. I highly recommend when you guys are doing this to use the robot. Use the robot to weld your uh, your fingers as well. It, uh, it saves you some time. Now, the only reason I'm doing it by hand, our generator is being used somewhere else. So I, I need, I want, I want to finish this up. So I'm using the hand welder, but always try to use the, the, the welder to help you guys out with the job. So now what we're gonna be doing here, we're gonna end up doing the wall flashing. And uh, we had like a steel beam on the side of the, on the bend. So we're gonna move the flashing seven inches on the flat. So one of the tricks that I was taught by Mark, uh, by Dave, Wally and Mark was, when, you're, when your guys are there, you mark your seven inches. When you come here, you measure 14 inches. So you mark your 14 inches, because once again, we're, we're, we have a seven inch on the flat. So what we're gonna do is go back and put that, uh, put the edge of the seam right here where those uh, 14 inches went. And just crease it out. And then with the roller, we're gonna roll it in. So by rolling this in, once we're done, this is actually gonna help the TPO do an L shape. So we're not fighting it. Because if you don't crease it, instead of having that, that nice little L shape, it's going to come out and it's going to bow out by, we're right at the transition. So we really, really want to square this up. Is as you can see, it's going to stay nice and flat. And this crease helps us out. Um, so this is a cool trick. I recommend everybody using it. And you're not trying to fight to try to get the TPO tight to the, uh, to the transition. I'm going all the way. Yep. Yep. Well, we got through another one. We're, barely. Barely. We're wrapping this one up here in Maine. Uh, we've done tear off. We've ate uh, some pitch. Ate some pitch. Uh, I'm wearing some pitch. I'm wearing six, some pitch. what, six inches of tear off, something like that. We got all the TPO on our end, uh, tapered systems on. 
Everything's buttoned up, ready to go for the uh, contractor to kick off tomorrow. It's up to him to finish this job. It's about 5.30 or 6 o'clock here in Maine, and I think we're just about ready to go. What do you think? I believe so. Anything you want to add? It's been a long day. I'm ready to go back to work and get some rest. I heard that. Let's go.